Hey friends, good morning, this is Abhishek from TechVirus and in this video I'll be doing the unboxing and review of new HP laptop that is 14BA075TX. Yes, this is a touch laptop and it includes the writing pen. This is the Ink Edition laptop from HP. Now, if we talk about the price, so on the box they have mentioned as 57,423, but actually I have paid 54,000 because of some discount going in Chroma store. On the other side of the box, you can see that these are the highlights of this laptop, like it has got i3 processor, which is seventh generation. It has got four GB of RAM, one TB of hard disk, full HD display, and NVIDIA graphics card that is 940 MX. Now, without any delay, let me open this box and show you like how the laptop looks and how is the performance. Alright, so now here you can see that these are the things which comes out of the box. The first thing is the laptop and then second is the setup instruction. Then we have the stylus, then we have the adapter cable and then the adapter itself. Now let me show you these stylus for this laptop. So here you can see that stylus comes packed in this laptop and you need to open this. And here you can see that this is the HP stylus. This is an active stylus so it comes with a battery and here you can see that the stylus looks really good it is silver in color it has got two buttons and this is the 4a battery which comes with this pack also along with this active pen you will get a user manual which will help you to guide like how you can install the battery in this pen and then how you can use it how you can configure the button a and button b so those details will be there but it's pretty simple you don't have to go through this you can easily figure it out yourself now let me show you the cable of this adapter the adapter second cable is like not quite long it's approximately half meter and here is the adapter and the cable in this adapter is approximately one meter. This is kind of normal adapter what we get in all other HP laptop. All right, now it's time to show you the laptop and this is the HP X360 convertible laptop. The model number which I already told you is 14BA075TX. Now let me show you the left side of this laptop. So here you can see that it has got very beautiful sleek design and on the left it has got power button, power LED, the lock connector. Then this is the exhaust fan. Then we have the 3.5 mm audio jack and this is volume up and volume down button. And the last one is hard drive LED which will blink when the hard drive is operational. Now if I show you the back of this laptop you can see that we have the pavilion logo along with the two silver hinge which will help this laptop to convert to a tablet. Now if I show you the right side of the laptop the first thing is the power socket as well as the power LED. Then we have the SDMI port, then two USB 3.0 port, and then we have the new USB C type port, which will help you to connect to a C type pen drive. And the last one is the card reader. All right, so these were the ports in this laptop. And now let me show you the texture of this laptop, like how is the silver texture looks on this laptop. So here you can see that this is quite old design, what HP has been using from past few years and it would have been better if they could have changed the texture of this laptop. Now let me quickly show you the bottom of this laptop. Here you can see that we have uh, four rubber pads like this will help the laptop to be stable on any kind of surface and here you can see that we have some information printed on this laptop and along with that you can see that we have some air vents which will help the laptop to be cool during the gameplay. Alright now it's time to open the laptop and show you the keypads as well as the screen. And here you can see that this is the newly designed keyboard as well as the touchpad from HP Pavilion X360 series. And also you can see that screen looks good. It does not have that much of bezels. And if I zoom the camera and show you that the keys are very nicely designed. It has ample of space between each other and the keys are very soft to touch. It feels very premium when you type on this and it does not make much noise when you are typing on this keyboard. On the right hand side you can see that we have three logos. One is for Core i3 processor which is seventh generation along with Office and Nvidia graphics card logo. And here you can see that this laptop has B and O speakers. That means the speaker sound will be definitely loud. All right, now it's time to switch on the laptop for the first time and I'll show you how is the display quality and other functionality of this laptop. So the power button is on the left and I press the power button and the first thing you will see is the HP logo. And this is actually loading Windows 10, which is pre-installed on this laptop. And also it comes with Cortana voice assistance, which will help you to guide through the initial setup. All right. Now the initial setup is completed and here you can see that I have logged into Windows 10 
and the first thing you will notice is the display quality this laptop has full HD 1080p display with touch so here you can see that when I'm touching this laptop it is working very nice there is no issues in the touch the touch is very responsive you can see that the lag or any other thing is not present in this laptop and I can definitely say that the touch as well as the display quality of this laptop at this point of time is looking amazing now the second feature of this laptop that is the convertible option and here you can see that I have tilted the lid of this laptop to 180 degree and this is working just fine and when I tilt it more than 180 degree it will ask for like do you want to change the setup to tablet mode then if you say yes it will change the alignment as a tablet mode now you can see that we have all the tiles all the application coming in like a tablet and if you touch it will have all the options like all the menus all the programs will be there in this mode now if I turn into the another mode it will again auto rotate the screen it has got sensor which will auto rotate the screen and it will display what is required now the third and the last mode is like complete 360 degree mode here you can see that this laptop has become completely like a tablet and trust me guys this is very comfortable mode you can keep it on your lap you can use it like a tablet and definitely it has got power of laptop and the keys which is at this point of time keys will be locked you don't have to worry that keys will be pressed when you are using in the tablet mode all right so these were the different convertible options in this laptop all right now let's talk about the stylus which has come with this laptop now you know that this stylus is an active stylus and it will require a battery and the battery what you are seeing here it comes with the laptop itself and as I told you that this battery is a 4A battery this is smaller than AAA battery which you can get in the local store as well when it gets over and here you can see that they have provided the Energizer battery which is actually a good company for the batteries now let me quickly open this stylus and put the battery in you can go through the manual like how the battery should go in in this case like I have to put the positive down and the negative up and once it is done I have to screw the stylus back and once it is screwed you can directly start using this stylus on the laptop so here you can see that when I touch the stylus it will actually perform in the similar way how I was touching with my finger now let me try to open some paint application like uh, MS paint and show you like how is the pens performance here you can see that I'm like writing something I'm like drawing something and you can see that I'm like doing it very casually so like designs are not that great now let me do one thing let me open the specific application which is meant for this stylus and here we have the sketchbook which comes preloaded in this laptop but it's a demo version if you want to use it in full version then you have to buy this application now let me close this instruction and here you can see that we have multiple options to select what type of pen I want to use what type of color I have to use so I have to just select these things and then here you can see that how nicely it will write on the laptop and you can see that the active stylus is really performing good on this notebook and you can see that I'm keeping my palm on this laptop screen and it has palm detection facility like it will automatically detect that you have kept your palm and it will not give any issues while you are writing or drawing on this laptop screen and also to add that this laptop has pressure detection mechanism which will detect that how much pressure you are giving on the stylus so depending upon your brush or the paint or the pen or the pencil what you have selected it will perform in the similar fashion now let me do a simple drawing on this laptop and let me check like how is the drawing performance like when you're drawing anything how is the stylus working on this laptop so here you can see that I'm drawing a swan and I'm feeling it very comfortable in drawing and there is really less delay when you are drawing anything or writing here so that really makes it very comfortable for a good drawing or a writing laptop so here you can see that I have uh, drawn this one and I can select some brush to like fill the colors even I don't know much about uh, this tool so I'm just trying here and there and trust me like I'm not a good artist or something like I can uh, draw anything but I'm just trying out my hand here just to show you that how is the laptop performance 
So overall the touch pen or the active stylus performance is really good. So if you want to draw anything or you want to write on the laptop, then this laptop is definitely yes for you. All right, now it's time to show you the gaming performance of this laptop. As you all know that this laptop has 940 MX graphics card, which is from Nvidia. And this is known to be a good graphics card for a laptop. Now here I'm playing NFS Rivals and on top left, you can see that the GPU temperature as well as the frame per second. So now the game has almost loaded and it's just showing the initial introduction video. So the frame rate is approximately at 30 frames per second and temperature of GPU is at 37 degrees Celsius. Now let me hit enter and I'll skip all the introduction and the loading part and I'll directly take you to the game and show you how is the performance. So here you can see that the frames per second is showing as 23 and the GPU heat or the GPU temperature is 62 degrees Celsius. Now let me tell you that I have kept the graphics settings at medium and graphics resolution of the screen at 1080p. And here you can see that I've started playing this game and on top left you can see that frame per second is around 28 frames per second and GPU temperature is 63 degrees Celsius and now you can watch we are able to control the uh, vehicle very easily there is no lag what I found at this point of time 20 frame per second but still it is playable I was expecting a little bit more on this game because this game is uh, like two years old game but I can tell you that you can easily play this game on this laptop because as you can see that there is no lag and the texture quality the reflection everything is looking perfect and the frame rate is going up to 30 31 frames per second as well so I don't think like we have any issue here and one more thing if I reduce the resolution to 720p definitely it will go more than 35 to 40 frames per second which is very good and even if I reduce the reflection or the texture quality to low it will increase the frame per second and also you can see that the GPU temperature is around 75 degrees Celsius so I have tried this game before as well on this laptop and it is not going beyond 75 to 80 degrees Celsius which is quite okay for this laptop you can uh, just place this laptop on a flat table and you can play you don't need actually a cooling pad or cooling uh, fan for this laptop because 75 to 80 degrees Celsius is quite acceptable for any graphics card now let me show you the screen resolution here as I told you I was playing at 1080p and everything was on medium. Now let me do one thing let me change uh, everything to ultra settings and then let me see how is the performance. So here is the lighting quality I'll put it ultra and ambience is ok reflection ultra effects quality ultra and now I'll hit apply and this will make the changes and let me skip this. And here you can see that the reflection quality has improved the other texture is looking very natural and here you can see that the frame per second has dropped to 25 frames per second 24 per second 21 frames per second so but still it's managing to keep the frames per second more than 20 it's not going below that so that's quite acceptable as this is the starting model for any gaming laptop and at this price range and at this model definitely I would rate this laptop good for gaming. Alright friends so this was my detailed review for this laptop I hope you liked it and I will be coming with more gaming reviews on this laptop on my another channel which is Games Dragon and the link is in the description below. I hope you liked my video if you like do give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because if you are one of the lucky person you might win Apple iPhone 7 when this channel reaches 50,000 subscribers. Till then have a nice day bye bye.